First of all, I welcome all of you guys in the lesson number 25 for Great Theme Mathematics. Uh, we finished almost time. Yesterday, I gave you the homework. The homework was to complete question number 3B. Uh, there you need to draw some clocks to show the time 10 minutes before and five minutes after the time. I tell you how you have to do it and I give you the homework. And uh, I'm going to share the screen with you so that you can check your homework or if you don't, did not get, I'll make you understand again. Then today we will start a new topic also. Wait a minute, I need to check. Okay, I'm going to share a new screen with you guys. But I cannot find that screen. Um, yeah, can you see the screen guys? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. yes sir. very good. What we need to do guys, uh, we were asked in the question number three B that for each clock, we have to draw clock that is showing the time 10 minutes before and the time which is five minutes after. I told, uh, taught you about this table yesterday also. Again, I'm repeating. So I took the time from the book that the given time was 3.20 in the first clock, 6.40 in the second clock, 12.30 in the third clock, 9.10 in the fourth clock, 12.15 in the fifth clock and 5.15 in the sixth clock. I mean, 20 past three and 20 to seven, half past 12, 10 past nine, quarter past 12 and quarter past five. This was the time given in the book. Now we need to draw a clock which is showing time 10 minutes before and five minutes after. So we made a one column the column is 10 minutes before. To find out what time will be 10 minutes before, what we need to do is 3.20, 20 past three, just minus 10 minutes from 20 minutes, you will find out what time it will be. So 20 minus 10 equals to 10, it will be 3.10, that's mean 10 past three. And to find out after five minutes, what time will be if the given time is 3.20. You need to just add five minutes in 20, 20 plus five, it's 325. Same, you will do it for 640. I mean, quarter to, it's 20 to seven. So for 10 minutes before 40 minus 10, that's equal to 30, that's mean half past six. And in order to find out what will be the time after five minutes, so you will add five, it will be 645. Guys, if you have any problem, in this table. So you can ask me that how to find out 10 minutes before, five minutes after like this. If you have any problem, you can ask me right now. Do you have any problem in this table? No, no sir. No, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. If you, do, if you understand it very well, if you don't have question, then I'm going to ask you question and I will see who can answer me correctly. Are you ready now? Very good. So guys, tell me the time. This is the given time. 3.20 is the given time, okay? This is the given time. And I want to ask you the time, which is 20 minutes before 3.20. Tell me the time, 20 minutes before 3.20. In the chat box, guys, I'm waiting for your answer. Given time is 20 past three, 320 I mean. You have to tell me what time will be 20 minutes before. Amar Khalid, good. Jihad Muhammad, very good. All uh, Amar Khalid, very good. Jihad Muhammad, very good. Jihad Khalid, very good. Ahmad Kandil, 30, how time 30? Abdul Hamid, very good. Ahmed Jibrail, very good. 
Ahmad Mohammed, very good. All students, this is very easy question. Ahmad Kandil, very good. No, Ahmad Kandil. I am asking 20 minutes before, not 10 minutes before, 20 minutes before. I tell you guys the answer. For 20 minutes before, what you will do? You will minus 20 minutes from the given minutes. How many minutes from the given time? In the given time, there's 320. When you minus 20 from 20, it will be zero. So it will be three o'clock. It will be three o'clock. Clear? Okay, I'm going to ask you one more question. And this time you have to be very careful. I don't need mistake from anyone. The question I'm going to ask for that, the given time is also 320. Given time is same. But I'm going to ask you, tell me the time 15 minutes after 320. 15 minutes after 320. 15 minutes. No, Amar Khaled, after 320. Very good, Amar Khaled. Yad Muhammad, very good. Ahmad Jibrail, very good. Amar Khaled, very good. Adam Farouk, good. Jihad, very good. Hamza, very good. Jihad Khalid, very good. Other students, please. Other students, please answer. Yes, guys, what time will it be after 15 minutes? 3.35. Very good. It will be 3.35. How do you know, guys? Again, I repeat, for 15 minutes after, you will add 15 minutes in 20. Okay? So, guys, uh, you are not restricted to only the questions you completed from in your book and in your notebook, okay? You should know the concept. For 10 minutes before, you will minus 10. If I ask you 30 minutes before, you will minus 30. If I ask you 25 minutes before, you will minus 25 from the given time. This is five minutes after. If I ask you 20 minutes after, you will add 20 instead of five. If I ask you 30 minutes after, you will add 30. Are you getting my point, guys? Sure. Yes, sir. That's sure. That's very good. Yes, sir. Sure. That's very good. sure, sir. That's very good. So maybe in exam, I will not say write the time 10 minutes before. Instead of 10, I can give you any number. I can give you 40. I can give you 30. I can give you 20. But the concept, it will be same. You should use the same concept in order to find out the answer. Can you do it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can do it. Very good. Very good. So you can find out. Um, no, Emma Jibrail, I think this is enough because we have another topic to start also. This is just I was explaining you if the time, uh, if uh, someone asks you 50 minutes before, so you will minus 50 minutes. If someone asks you 20 minutes before, you will minus 20. If someone has asked you five minutes after, you will add five. If someone asks you, the, uh, the, give you the given time and ask you 30 minutes after, you will add 30. In that way, you can check 10 minutes before, uh, some, uh, some the time before also and after also. Clear, guys? Clear, yes. Clear, sir. That's very good. All right, guys. Now, the homework was to draw the clocks and mention the time. So, guys, 
for one question you need to draw two clocks okay again i repeat for this time you need to draw two clocks one which will show the 10 minutes before and one will show 5 minutes after so 10 minutes before the time is 10 past 3 and 5 minutes after the time is 25 past 3 so this is for one for given time one it is 10 past 3 and it is 25 past 3 right now check the second time second time is 6:30 and 6:45 half past 6 and quarter to 7 so this is half past 6 and this is quarter 7 coming to the next 10 minutes before it is 20 past 12 and it's 25 to 1 it's 20 past 10 and it's 25 to 1 this uh, should be little more towards one this one okay short hand Fourth one is nine and nine fifteen. So this is the fourth one, nine and nine fifteen. Clear to you guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't yes, understand. Yes, sir. 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 We don't have that much time. Send the message in the chat box. Who is saying I did not understand? Kareem Muhammad. Okay. Wait, Kareem. I'm looking. I'm checking you. Where are you? Okay. Yes, Kareem. Sir, it's not fifteen. It's quarter. Which? Because you say you say fifteen, it's quarter. Okay, it's quarter past nine. Okay, yes, it's quarter past nine. Any question? No. Okay. All right, guys. Then for five, fifth and sixth, you can see, guys, it's twelve five. I mean, five uh, past twelve and twenty past twelve. This is five past twelve, and this should be twenty past twelve. So I'm going to draw in front of you twenty past twelve. So the short hand should be little right towards uh, one, but it should be near to twelve, not in between, because it's twenty. After twenty, it will. After thirty, it will come between. When it comes to thirty, it will be exactly between one and two. The short end. Okay. Then a long hand. It should be at twenty. This is twelve twenty. Is it clear, guys? Yes. Sure, it's very clear. Yes, sir. Clear, clear, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's very good. Now the last. Also, I have not uh, done it for you. I will do it for you right now. This is five five and five twenty. I mean five past five and twenty past five. So for five past five, a short hand should be. Nearly to five. This is a short hand. It should be exactly nearly to the five. And for the long hand, it should be exactly at this one. So this is five five. The second is five twenty. 
because 520, so the shorthand should be little far from five, but not, it should be in between five and six. It should be here. And 20. That should be exactly at four. Yes, guys, is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's very good. So I hope you understand all the questions and the worksheet and this work, this answer worksheet, I will also upload, uh, I will upload it today in uh, class era course material. So you can check your answers by yourself also. Right? That's very good. That's very good. Today we are going to start a new topic. Before starting new topic, I want to ask you, do you have any questions? Yes, no, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Someone is saying yes, if you have question, so you can send me message that, sir, I have question. Okay. If you have question, you can send me message. I have question. I'm just taking one one minute. Abdullah also have question. Let me take him. Where is Abdullah? Yes, Abdullah. Yes, sir. Uh, can I uh, look if I if the short hand if the short hand becomes in the middle in between like four and five? What's the time it will be? Look, if shorthand is between, uh, for the time, you have to look both hands, not only short shorthand and not only lo long hand. Okay? Shorthand tell you the hours and long hand tell you the minutes. Okay? If the long hand is at six, then shorthand yes. must be between two numbers. As you said, three and four, so it must be three and four, exactly between three and four, and the uh, long hand must be at six. Okay? Okay. So that will be half past three. Okay. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Okay. Guys, uh, just wait for Adan. Inshallah. All right, guys, today we, uh, we are going to start and we are going to learn the conversion from kilogram to gram. Guys, there are some basic things which you should know that one kilogram is equals to 1000 gram. You can write gram like GM or you can also write gram like G. Why you we use gram and kilogram? We use kilogram and gram to measure the weight, to check the weight of any object, how much heavy a particular object is or how much light is uh, a particular object is. Like you want to check the length of the, uh, the weight of the box, you want to check the weight of your body, you want to check the weight of uh, your luggage, okay? So you use uh, some of the units, you use either kilogram or gram. For, uh, lighter for light objects, you use gram, okay? Like, uh, your scale, your pencil, if you're waiting like this, so you can use uh, in grams. For little things, you can use gram. For uh, light objects, okay, even uh, we can have some uh, foods, 
okay and for heavy objects we use kilogram so uh, today we are going to learn about conversion of kilogram to gram that much messages hatem it's not good to send too many messages let me finish first then i will take your question so 1 one, one kilogram is equals to 1000 gram this is the fact that you should know 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 gram if you want to weight uh, uh, check the weight of the apple okay if you want to uh, check the weight of one apple that it will not be in kilogram it will be in gram but if you want to uh, check the weight of uh, too many apples so you can use it the kilogram okay this is the conversion guys 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 gram okay now if i give you the value in the gram if i value the if i give you the value in the kilogram and i will ask you the value then tell me uh, that how much it will be in kilogram so how you will tell me so this is very easy guys what you are uh, you have to do i am writing here kg this is kilogram and this is gram to convert value from kilogram to gram you have to multiply by 1000 let's suppose i sell uh, i told you that i bought 2 kg sugar from a shop i bought 2 kg kg sugar from a shop can you tell me how many gram of that so what you will do you will multiply 2 by 1000 and you will say sir you have bought 2000 gram sugar again i repeat when you want to convert a value from kilogram to gram this is not in the book guys okay forget about the book this is the, we are learning the basic basics here if you want to convert any value from kilogram to gram what you need to do you need to multiply it by 1000 is it clear to you guys Yes, sir. Very clear. Sure, sure. It's very clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very, 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 15 kg if i bought 15 kg uh, rice from a shop how much gram have i bought 15000 15000 that is very easy guys to find out the value and to convert the value from kilogram to gram what you need to do just multiply it by 1000 2 kg 2000 gram 3 kg 3000 gram 4 kg 4000 g 8 kg 8000 g 20 kg 20000 g 90 kg 90000 g right yes guys clear yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir very good now take out your notebooks we will do some work we will do some practice for this work okay take out your notebooks please i'm going to share a new screen with you you must be uh, looking the new screen you must be watching it's 18 to 2021 it is wednesday and conversion from kilogram to gram 
this is the heading. This is the heading guys, conversion from kilogram to gram. Now I will start writing. I will write first one kg is equals to thousand gram. Okay. Now I will start the question number one. Question number one is convert the following kg. Two grams. Convert the following weight into grams. Okay, I'm going to write the values here. The first value is A, that is 3 kg. So 3 multiplied by 1000 is equals to 3000 gram. Then B, 8 kg. So 8 multiplied by 1000 is equals to 8000 gram. There's a message in the chat box. Yes, guys, everything is clear? Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me ask one of you. Yes, Emma Jibrail. Yes, sir, I want to tell you something. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, I understand all, but uh, sir, uh, the day is not Wednesday. Aha. Uh -huh. Sorry. Thursday. Mm -hmm. It's fine. That you were telling. All right. Yes, guys, it's 8,000 gram. And check one more value. It is. Guys, now if I take the value in the points. Let's suppose 5.76 kg. So in order to find out the gram, again, what you will do, 5.76 multiplied by 1000. 5.76. 5.76, when you multiply 5.76 by 1000, what will you get answer guys? Yes. 5.76 multiplied by 1,000. Okay, uh, again, I go to the another screen and I show you how we can multiply it. First, I'm going to raise this. Look guys. This is 5.76, 5.76. When you multiply it by 1000, I told you how you, have, you will have to multiply when you have the points. Whenever you have the value, whenever you're multiplying the decimal by the number 10, 100, 1000, just check the zeros. How many zeros are there in 1000? Three. Move this point to right side up to three times. Why three times? Because there are three zeros. One time it will come here. It will become 57.6. Two time it will come here. It will become 576. And three time there is no number. So you will add zero. You will write five, seven, six. But there is no more number. So you will add zero. And now point will be there. 
so it will be your answer so you don't need to write the point because after point there is zero so the answer will be 5760 5760 clear now it's clear sir that's it clear clear it's clear very good guys very good guys I again repeat when you multiply any value any decimal value by 1000 so move the point right side up to 3 times it was here one time it comes between 7 and 6 two time it uh, comes after 6 three times there is no number then you will add zero and move the point one more time so 5760 so the answer is 5760 where is my screen Mm -hmm. oh, let me check where is my screen this is so guys this will be 5760 gram now for d d is 4.2 kg four point two multiply by thousand guys tell me the answer four point two multiply by thousand one time I move the point; it will become forty-two. Two time I will move the point; it will become four twenty. Three time I will move the point; it will become four thousand two hundred. Is it clear? Yes, yes, yes. Very clear, but stop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's very good. Okay, now I will write E. E. E is seven point one zero nine. A is seven point one zero nine. Okay, leave it, guys. Our, our class time is finished. We'll complete from E, inshallah, into the next class. Take care of yourself, guys, and guys, prepare for yourself uh, for the test. Okay. Uh, on Monday, coming Monday, you have test. It will come from time and conversion from gram to kilogram and uh, kilogram to gram. We will complete it on Monday. it will come from time and conversion from kilogram to gram or gram to gram whatever we have studied because uh, we have already completed the test up to money after money whatever we have studied in the notebook in the book in the class all syllabus is included for your test okay take care bye 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 guys bye 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 bye